So once again, uh, hello all my students. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I bid a very good morning to all the students, Dayang Nashafika and also Jennifer Ezra. Continue, continuous. Uh, we we have to continue with our resort management class. Okay, so just right now we learn chapter nine, right? Okay, so I will skip until chapter twelve first. Okay, we will go back to chapter ten and chapter eleven uh, next week. Okay, so we will learn the spa development and operation. Spa itself is one of the basic things or necessities for a resort okay a resort without spa is quite weird okay it's not complete okay it incomplete a resort without spa therefore spa is a very 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 important a crucial okay pivotal element for a resort okay so today we will learn all the things about spa okay because you have to know what is spa okay what is the things that are needed in a spa and how to market a spa so we have three learning outcome today so learning outcome one is the layout and design of a spa okay learning outcome number two is the treatment for a spa okay that are included in the spa and last but not least is the learning outcome number three that is marketing for a spa so first and foremost we have to go for introduction first okay so i also have teach you before spa is the foundation for a resort before the, before there are resort uh before resort exists okay the spa concept is actually derived from uh, the resort concept concept actually derived from the spa itself okay so let me drink some water first okay so just like i said before okay i repeat the resort concept itself is derived from the spa okay so how spa is being introduced okay the original spa was a mineral hot spring place in belgium in a village called spo okay spo or spo okay so before this i have told you a story about a soldier okay a rom soldier a rom soldier is heavily injured okay they are, after they go to war okay they are injured very injured heavily injured so when they come to this belgium a village okay called spo okay they found a mineral hot spring Okay, when they eat and uh, when they drink and they uh, take a bath at the hot spring, they feel that their body feel very energetic. Okay, when that kind of thing happen, okay, spa this this water they believe it have a magical content. They have a very magical details. Okay, therefore this spa things happen. Okay where spa itself the main purpose is to cure and help okay to give a healthy feeling okay so you can see there are two different things okay about european spa and american spa okay when we talk about european spa it focus more on cure and help okay and health purposes okay it want to go for curing maybe uh stress okay maybe you want to cure hyper um maybe darah tinggi okay maybe obesity that kind of thing okay but when we when we talk about american operation of spa okay it's more emphasized on the promotion of healthy lifestyle based on combination of exercise weight loss and pampering Okay, when we talk about uh, American spa, it's more like a gym. Okay, it's kind of gym kind of uh, operation. Therefore, there are very significant difference between European and American kind of spa. So there are actually three distinct type of spa. There is resort spa, amenity spa, and destination spa. Okay, when we talk about resort spa, 
Okay, so the resort spa itself located on the property of the resort. Okay, it's combined with the resort itself. That is known as resort spa. So when we talk about resort spa, okay, the spa guests and also the resort guests, okay, will intermingle with each other. Okay, so there we, is the resort is not only purpose to do a spa, but also to accommodate people. Okay, so it's not the resort spa is not specific for the people who want to get spa service. It also available for the resort guests of the destination. Okay, so when we talk about amenity spa, amenity spa mean the spa service only additional service of the resort. Okay, it's not either special. Okay, it's not either something that are very, very unique. It's only as an amenity, additional service. Okay, so the spa itself is not very unique. Just a very uh, simple kind of spa. It's actually is not really important thing to the resort, the spa itself, but only additional service. So that is known as amenity spa. And last but not least is destination spa. Okay, so this is the most important and special spa and very unique. Okay, so when we talk about a destination spa, the spa itself has a very unique service. Okay, so you can read in the slide, the destination spa is a resort property target to the spa guests. Okay, so you want to target the spa guests. Okay, and focusing on specific health and fitness program. Okay, so when the spa guests come to destination spa, okay, they are a part of a program. Okay, outside guests, okay, outside guests cannot include in this destination spa. The only one who can get this spa is only the resort, the people that come to the resort. Okay, so additional activities such as golf and tennis are available. Okay, when we talk about destination spa, it's, it's only unique. And if you want to go for that spa, you have to enter and buy the resort service okay that is mean by destination spa so what is the service that are provided in the spa okay so if you are a spa person okay you always know, you know all this kind of service okay for example body wrap facial facial is very common okay you don't have to go to spa to get facial but facial also one of the service that are available in the spa reflexology, aromatherapy massage, local signature therapy. For example, if you go to Malay kind of spa, uh, they will give the bertengku kind of uh, therapies. Okay, If you go to Java, Javanese, uh, the Indonesia kind of spa, they always go for uh, Asian kind of uh, herbs. Okay, Manicure, pedicure, many pedi, and also creative kind of treatment. So after this, I will teach you what is the treatment that are available for a spa. So first and foremost, we will see the layout and design of a spa, okay? Because you have to know that the layout and design play an important role for a spa. So if you can see in this picture, this is a very relaxing spa, okay? The moment you get the massage and the moment you get the facial service, you can see a very beautiful scenery, okay? You want your spa layout to be both comfortable and also very beautiful. So this is the basic component for a spa. If you want to have a spa, this is the basic component, okay? For example, the reception area and launch, okay? Sometimes, uh, it's not sometimes, it's, it's obligation to separate men and women locker room and also facilities, okay? So that uh, both of the gender uh, feel comfortable when they change the clothes, okay? Men and women steam room or known as sauna, okay, pool, okay, or jacuzzi, okay, jacuzzi, 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 okay, 
lounge, which can include a juice bar and small cafe, dry treatment room, okay, wet treatment, okay. After this, I will teach you what is dry room and wet room for spa treatment. Staff fitness studio for a spa that have a gym, okay. Exercise studio, retail store, some of the people like after they go to spa, they are attracted to buy the product that they use in spa. Okay, so this is the role of the retail store. Saloon for hair, nail, and makeup. You have to separate between the treatment place and also the hair and makeup and nail kind of salon. Okay. So next, we will talk about the spa equipment that, that is important for a spa places. Okay, there are a few treatment uh, equipment. For example, facial equipment basic body treatment and hydrotherapy if you want to go for hydro treatment okay so facial equipment is uh for example comfortable facial bed or chair for each room okay so how about body treatment is more about massage tables okay that is uh for weight room and also waterproof and uh accessories for example electric bed warmer pad okay and last but not least is hydrotherapy okay so for hydrotherapy is more about water okay when you when you hear hydrotherapy okay it's related about the water hydro okay hydrotherapy tub steam shower steam cabinet and also a lot more equipment so this is the three equipment that are important for a spa service okay just that like i said before wet room and dry room okay so, so there are a few treatment that is uh, involving water okay and there are a treatment that are not involving water so that is known as dry room so for example a massage urutan we always go for dry room okay so if something that are uh, involving uh, hydrotherapy okay if all about um, maybe a steam kind of uh, sauna then we go for wet room okay so you cannot mix this kind of room okay so for wet room can get wet without damaging the room shower and handheld hose okay so what is the treatment in the wet room hydrotherapy okay vinci and other shower treatment vinci is actually a steam kind of uh service okay scotch horse treatment okay salt glow mud mask seaweed wrap all this kind of treatment is done in the wet room okay so how about dry room okay so when you when we talk about dry room it must be eight to ten feet and untow okay untow okay you are in the wet room is actually Tile, okay, full of tile because uh, to avoid sleepy, okay, very, very, um, when sleepy is um, the gelinche, okay, gelinche. Sink in the room is useful for preparing the treatment bowl, okay, used for massage, okay, wiring for the room for music and also some of the spa have their own unique music so that people will feel very calm, very peace, something like that, okay. So next, we will talk about the treatment that involves for a spa, okay? So there are three treatment, I think three treatment that I have list, okay? So for example, exfoliate, okay? You have to exfoliate your skin, okay? For the face skin, okay? You actually have to exfoliate maybe uh, twice a week, okay? For your body, maybe... um. Uh, two days, uh, two weeks per, uh, once per two weeks, okay? So what is exfoliating? Okay, so exfoliating is rubbing and polishing or scrubbing your skin, okay? Using enzyme on it, okay? So usually there are two kinds of exfoliate. That is physical exfoliate and also chemical for exfoliate, okay? For face, okay, for face, okay? You should go for something that are chemical exfoliate. Okay, for, for example, is hydrochloric acid and also AHA, BHA, PHA. Okay, but if you want to go for body, okay, you can go for physical kind of scrub. For example, coffee scrub, okay, almond scrub, that kind of thing. You cannot put all the harsh kind of scrub on your face. Okay, 
because um, the main purpose of exfoliate is you want to remove the dead skin. Okay, when you remove the dead skin, okay, your skin will feel more lighter, more moisturized, and also very, very soft. Okay, so exfoliate can be accomplished using dry, dry brush. Okay, for example, when you are taking a bath, okay, you always use the loofah. Okay, loofah is the sponge. Okay, the brush, washcloth, and sponge. Okay, so you always see in the Korean movie, they always uh, have uh, the yellow color kind of uh, washcloths. Okay, the moment they scrub your uh, body, okay, there are maybe white kind of dead skin okay so that is not as exfoliate also okay so the very popular kind of body exfoliate is salt glow okay but i'm not really like for salt glow maybe the most uh easiest thing is coffee coffee kind of uh scrub okay so the treatment usually take 30 to 45 minutes okay so next is body wrap Okay, when we talk about body wrap, okay, there are two kind or there are three kind of uh, body wrap. There is full body mask, mask, okay, herbal body wrap and paraffin body wrap. Okay, I I have uh I have explained it's a paraffin. Okay, paraffin is actually just like a candle. Okay, uh, it's just like a plastic also, something like that. A candle and plastic. When you mix candle and plastic, there is paraffin. Maybe, maybe some kind of that kind of texture. Okay, uh, so we first we go to full body mud mass. Okay, mud mass have a very, very, very high benefit content. Okay, mud, mud is being warm. Okay, apply thickly and the body wrap in plastic or fall for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, mud wrap. Okay, mud mask. Okay, you, you also need to put the mud mask in your face. Okay, it's very good. Okay, so herbal body wrap is uh, always being used for pregnant mother. Okay, linen or muslin sheet are heated and soaked in a machine which herbal pouch or oil have been placed. Okay, this some this is the thing that always are being used in Malay kind of traditional medicines. Okay, herbal body wrap. Okay. Um, I also don't know. <laughs> Paraffin body wrap is just that I said before, it's kind of combination of plastic and uh, also candle kind of texture. Okay. When you use this kind of thing, it's very moisturized. Okay. Your skin, you have to uh, should, uh, try the paraffin body wrap. Okay. I think all the spa have this kind of treatment. Okay. So last but not least is treatment of water therapy. Okay. So when we talk about water therapy or hydrotherapy, they use water. Okay. Mainly use water. Okay. And liquid. Okay. Liquid. Okay. For example, hydrotherapy is using the water for well-being. Okay. We will soak in the water and we feel very peace when we're in the water. Okay, balno therapy is used bath. Okay, it's maybe a hot bath or cold bath. Okay, thalassotherapy is using seaweed or sea water. Okay, herbal therapy is we use the natural herbs and essence in the bath. And last but not least is aromatherapy. Okay, bath we put the aroma oil. Okay, aromatherapy oil, uh, in the water in the bath. Okay, it also uh, always use a uh, bath bomb. Okay, when you see there are a uh, bath bomb, it, it, that is known as aromatherapy bath. Okay, so last but not least is we're going to talk about uh, marketing. Okay, usually a resort uh, combine and also rename the uh, therapy ter treatment that they have. Okay, for example, combining treatment under a specific name can make it more marketable and also interested, interesting, okay, attractive. For example, Spa Camelback in Adobe, Adobe Clay Purification Treatment, for example, something like that, okay. Uh, uh, nampak cantik dan kurus pada yang sama treatment. Maybe uh, cantik dan kurus treatment, okay. Treatment kecantikan dan uh, memusnahkan jerawat, something like that. 
Okay, so involving a total body exfoliate, care application and aromatherapy, cleansing and sauna session. Usually, they mix the treatment and put a higher price. That kind of way is the market, uh, the usual marketing way for a resort. So, I think that's all for today class. Okay, so um, uh, my student, do you have any questions?